I am married, though. I'm married to uh, a white man. It's <laughs> a weird reaction, right? That's for sure a white person that's cheering. Whenever I say that, like, it's always like someone who'll be like, oh, good for you, you got one. And I'm like, that's a weird, it's a weird, like, encouraging racism. Do you know what I mean? Where it feels like they're encouraging me for getting into a good college. It's just, it's too much. And that's always white people because black people have a very different reaction. I'm like, oh, I'm married to a white man. They're like, are you okay? <laughs> Blink twice if you need us to call 911. They're all trying to take like flash photography of my face to make sure it's not like a get out situation. <laughs> it's very scary. Um, I don't say that because it matters. Like I say that because if I don't say that he's a white man, then everyone will assume I'm married to a black man. And if I'm standing next to any black man after the show, you'll be like, oh, your husband, he's so cute. I'm like, this man is 75 years old and it's my dad. <laughs> it's weird because like, I mean, I grew up in an area in Canada where the area I lived in didn't have a lot of diversity. Like there was just like a lot of like Ukrainian immigrants and then me, and like there was one eligible black bachelor for all of the women in our area, one, <laughs> just one. And it was my brother, so. <laughs> He would not date me. I tried. I asked him out a lot. Um, but uh, I, come, I come from, um, from a mixed-race family. I have a, a white mother and a black father. My mom is real white, though. Like, just... You know what I mean? Like, the whitest person. You know, like, the people, the white people that have, like, the blood. You can see the veins. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> we all know those people. <laughs> like... My mom is like one stage whiter where you can just see her organs functioning. When she was pregnant with me, she just went to the doctors and did not have to take anything off, just went in and lifted her shirt up. And I was in there like, everything's cool, Doc, you know? It's great. It was great, though, um, growing up with a white mom because she never spanked us, which was delightful. <laughs> And it wasn't like, it's not what you think. It's not because she was progressive or anything. Um, she just didn't want to seem racist. Do you understand? <laughs> you cannot be the whitest lady in the world with two little brown kids in public like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> oh no, people will walk out of places like, save the children. <laughs> but it was a great time. My brother and I realized she wasn't gonna hit us in public. <laughs> we were just little assholes. Walking around like kicking other kids, stealing candy, like what you gonna do, Michelle? <laughs> but she was like, she caught on too. She's like, ah, I'm gonna beat you when we get home. <laughs> so we would just walk to the nearest white person we could find, like, ah, pull their coat. Ah. Help us. This white lady stole us from our hut. <laughs> we are scared and cold. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> 